Treasury yields rose to a nearly two-month high on word that a strong jobs report will come out next week. According to the Labor Department, women have regained all the jobs they lost in the Great Recession. Men are still catching up. And as Michelle Miller reports, men are facing new competition in fields they once dominated. Just 3% of women work in construction, but now there's an unprecedented opportunity to get more of them into the trade. The average construction worker is in his 40s and 50s and getting closer to retirement. It had never occurred to me that I would want to be a carpenter. Amy Judd, a college graduate, picked up a hammer 15 years ago when she couldn't find a job teaching. It took me 80 swings to finally actually hit the nail, but when I did, that was my light bulb moment. Go ahead, you get those in. The economy is expected to add nearly 200,000 carpenters by 2020. Is part of the problem the stigma that it's a man's job? Of course, of course, that's part of the problem. Silas DeMello is an electrician apprentice. I don't think it's made clear for like women in high school to say like, hey, this is an option for you. Like you can go into the trades. You don't have to go to college. You can be an electrician. You can be a carpenter. You can be a mason. You can do all this kind of stuff. Last year, the Labor Department allocated close to $2 million in grants for women in non-traditional occupations like construction. It's not always necessarily having to wear a tool belt to carry heavy things. If you like just being creative and designing things or problem solving, you can make a really good livable wage. The average wage for someone working in construction is $26 an hour. Said, Amy Judd now has her own business and half of her eight employees are women. Yeah. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Burlington, Vermont.